As a physician, you learn very early to listen to the patient because the patient's telling you what's wrong with them. Carefully listening to the company will bring the diagnosis forward, what needs to be addressed. It seems to me there's a lot of similarity in the founding principles of the organizations. We deploy the best of Alex partners to identify what the underlying problem is and solve it, and then get a group of people often working in small teams and simply work at a problem till it's solved. The companies that you help the most are those that don't recognize that they have systemic issues that are across the whole spectrum of the company and the need to do a precise diagnosis for those problems as efficiently and effectively as possible will continue to differentiate Alex partners. And again, many patients come to see us and say, I have this problem, fix this. Right. We can fix that and you'll get a benefit. But if you really want to get a benefit, you have to go upstream of that and see how these other pieces come together. Leading surgeons and physicians and scientists, if they don't think you have the chops for that, it's right. very difficult. Right. So I was fortunate. I'd been in the practice for 25 years. I'd had leadership roles. We all share patients. Uh, they knew that I was a physician that kind of worked out. I'm rather pleased personally, this whole idea of the chest beating celebrity CEO seems to have moved on. The most effective CEOs I see at our clients are actually rather understated, but have a very clear vision of where they want to go. If you're not authentic, They'll see through you in a moment. If a leader is authentic, then people understand they occasionally make mistakes. Sometimes you take the blame for something that you have nothing to do with, but that allows people to move on and, and say, fine, we hit that iceberg, the boat didn't sink, let's keep going, so. I love that line in To Kill a Mockingbird where Atticus Finch says, to try to do the right thing is the right thing. And I think in leadership, that's so true. If people know that you're using your best efforts to move the enterprise on, if things don't go to plan, they understand. And as I explained to colleagues early on, I serve the firm in my role, and sometimes we have to make tough choices, and sometimes not everybody agrees, but that sort of is the role of leadership, isn't it? Everyone who works at Mayo leaves their ego at the door. They want to be a part of something bigger than themselves. Our leaders typically are in a leadership role for six to eight years, and that includes the CEO. Your job is to help the organization get stronger, to help patients get better care, to support the employees, and to grow the brand of Mayo. And then you rotate out and you do something else. We think of it exactly the same way. There's always different leaders and different roles required in different chapters of the firm's development. It seems the stories that we read about now are companies that don't have servant leaders, and they're serving themselves. And it's usually to their own demise or the demise of the company.